welcome to this week's episode of The Makeup Breakup. This is a highly requested... Ooh. So everyone has, not everyone, but some people have been asking for us to do either a Becca highlighter or specifically champagne, champagne. pop. And because Hayley didn't have a champagne mm. pop and was happy to have a repressed one, we decided to do it. So if you do want to see how much product is in a champagne pop and also at the end... Ah, we're going to show you the actual process of repressing the product. So a few people have been asking and if you want to see exactly how we do it, the tools we use, all that jazz, at the end of the video, keep watching and I'll take you through it step by step and I won't speed through it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that here. Yeah. Okay, brand new champagne pop there from Becca. It contains eight grams of product, if it'll focus. Ooh. Pretty. 62.8 grams. That's what I hate about the packaging. The, Are you fucking serious? Yeah, the, the mirror is so heavy bullshit. that it knocks it down. It's the shittest. That's fucking annoying. It is. I agree. Let's smash the shit out of it. Ooh. Ooh. Nice and buttery. Ooh. That's a nice size pan. That is. That's nice. Pretty colour. Hmm. Looks a lot more rosier when you kind of... It does. Scratch yeah. into it. Alright, empty compact, 54.4 grams, so that's 8.4 grams in the palette or the pan and it was meant to contain 8, so good on you Becca. Alright guys, so there you have it, the Becca Champagne Pop by Jacqueline Hill. Um, I think the results were good, yeah. a little bit extra product in there um, and to be honest, I still like it better when it was all crushed up. Beautiful. Yeah, and this is the unpressed version, by the way. Yeah. So the proper version. It the, does look prettier when you crush it up. It has it like that rosiness to yeah, it. Yeah, the rose gold in it just really comes out. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I might let this dry and then smash it again. <laughs> Why not? Double, double smash. smash. Yeah, double, double smash. smash. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget you can subscribe and not miss the next one. Feel free to give us some suggestions. And there will be stuff linked oh, on the screen. Stuff everywhere. And keep watching to see how yeah. we repress our crap. Good stuff. Bye. Okay. Alright, now for repressing. So basically the way we repress stuff, we break it up as much as we can, nice and fine. A few little chunks, not a big deal. Then we take isopropyl alcohol. I buy this stuff in bulk from like a pro supply store and we just use little plastic pipettes to dispense the product. Uh, there's no real like right or wrong amount of isopropyl alcohol to use. Um, you just sort of mix it up until it's kind of like wet sand and I like to use 100% isopropyl when I'm repressing things, especially when it's a new product um, because there's not likely to be any germs in there. So, you know, it's break it up with a clean tool and then repress it.
so that's the sort of consistency we're looking for like not too wet not too dry but it will all stick together when you bunch it together and then we just chuck it in the pan and press it I've smoothed it out and done all that jazz try and like work it up to the edges as much as you can it'll make it press better and easier uh, take a tissue or a paper towel or you can even use like a face cloth clean dry face cloth um, if you haven't got tissue or paper towel and you want something that is about the same size as the pan so I purchase these they're like made for standard size blush and powder pans um, often I just use like you know a jar of skincare cream or something like that anything that is about the same size as the pan and you simply press it <music> For highlighters, um, you can use quite a bit of pressure to pack these in. I just got Kat to give it a really good squeeze um, because you don't want to pick up too much product with your brush after you repress it. And you just, you've got to base like the pressure that you use on the type of product that you're pressing. So if it's pressed powder, you might want to use less pressure because you want to pick up more product with a brush. Um, yeah, so just go with your gut and there we have it after it's pressed pretty much as good as new um, not quite as perfect and pretty but you know it's still good it's still good there we go when it comes to dry time for something like this big I would probably wait 48 hours at least if it's like half a pan or you've only got a tiny bit of product in there, 24 hours and it should be good to go.